LS8 is the next block, and this one's modified, so we're going to work from the booklet. And we have a bunch of applique. This is not two pieces. This is an applique triangle that goes over the seam here. And then these are applique. These two are bigger than these two. So these two are the other, they're, they're slightly similar size, but they are different. So make sure that you put them in the right location. So I've got my pieces here. And the assembly, this is going to go on last, so I'm going to set this over here. The assembly is going to be kind of straightforward here. We've got this row. Let me work from here, this diagram. we got this row. So here, this thing here is going to be one unit. And then, so we're going to assembly these. And then connect it. I'm, I'm going to assemble these in pairs. Okay, I'm going to do one, one and two, and then one and two. Then connect them to this triangle and all that at one time. Then I'll connect the ends. These three pieces are a unit as well. And again, these are applique on later, and those are here. So I'm going to stick these with my, well, over here, with my other applique pieces. And then this, of course, we're going to applique the footballs onto this piece before we connect it to here. So I think I'm gonna put this together first so I can assemble that and then set it aside so then I can have some space to work on this whole section because this is where the nitty gritty is. And I'm gonna see what I can do about my tags um, because there's multiple options and so I'll try some different things and we'll see where we get. So I basted my pieces and I did this outside edge first, and then I did this, and then here, so I can get my tags out of play here. And then this one, I did this first, and then the two sides. So I'm going to stitch these together so I can have one big base piece. So I've stitched these three pieces together, and this is what it should look like. I'm going to put this up here. Now I'm going to baste this so I can set it aside. And when I'm going to baste this, I'm going to make a notch almost to the fabric right here with my scissors, and then I can baste these down normally. So I got this basted, so I'm going to set this aside, and then I can get these around and applique these, but I want to get these around first. So I'm going to baste and sew these two together and then baste and sew these two together. I'm going to do the short sides first and then the long sides and then I'll be able to connect them, but I'm going to just get them in pairs first. Got these basted and attached and I basted those long sides last. One thing I do want to say, we are going to do this so that there's focus fabric on both sides, both edges. So this is a focus fabric and then background, background, focus fabric. So it's going to be like this. But it's real easy to get this flipped around and mess it with it. And the, the tendency is going to be to want to stripe it. So make sure that when you put this back, because this is the same orientation, it's just in the wrong order, that you have the background in the right location. So now this goes like this, and this goes here. Now I'm going to baste and sew these two together. Got my second set assembled together. Now this is going to be basted, and I'm going to sew this to one of them, and then I'll sew the other this way. I find it easier to deal with outside angles if you're doing two edges at the same time than to deal with an inside edge. So if I did it this way first, I could do this here, but I'm going to do this first here, and then I can put it together this way. And it's personal preference. If you find it easier the other way, you can do it that way. But um, So this I'm going to baste. This is going to attach to this. Let me look at my tags here. So I've got no tags interfering on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste this first and then these so my tags get out of the way of these tags. So I've got this attached to my triangle. And this is what you should look like. You got this points lined up exactly with that point too. And now I will attach this with the background touching each other. 
and that way I can finish that whole center unit. I've got all these attached together now and that's what this should look like. So now I'm going to take my side pieces and we're going to attach those. My basting on these are going to be, I'm going to baste this line first and then this and then this and then that. That'll put my tags out into the outside and then up into those other pieces and down into this big background piece over here. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to do the exact opposite over here. So we're going to go up, up, cross and down. And that's how we're going to baste them and then I can sew them to the center piece. So I basted my piece. I did one, two, three and then number four. And I've attached this piece over here. So I've got this lined up on this line and lined up at the top so that it can go across the next section. And so now I am going to attach this piece. So I've attached the other side to this center section. So this is all completed. I'm going to attach that to this part and make that that way I have one piece. So I got both of these sections connected and this is what it should look like at this point. Now I'm going to work on this and my applique pieces and actually these are applique pieces for that. So I'm going to do that too. Um, and these, there's two bigger ones and two smaller ones. Okay, so the two bigger ones go here and the two smaller ones are on the tip. They go like this. So let me get these basted. So I've got the littler ones basted and I made a very faint pencil line from the tip to that crevice and I'm going to line these up on the pencil line starting at the tip and spacing it like that. So not quite touching the edge of the, but you know, in there and then I'm going to staple that down and then put the next one on there and staple that down and then I'm going to applique these all at the same time so I can go on each edge at the same time. So I'm going to get that ap applique on. I've got these applique down on my line and I've taken the basting out and the staple. Next thing to do will be to baste these and then work on those for placement. I've got my triangle basted and I've got this one basted and attached and what I did these are so little. What I did is I took, I, I looked at this to see where I needed to place it and I want to make sure that it's lined up with this line and I'm gonna, I measure how far this is and then I'll measure how far this is over here so that it gets equal spacing. Make sure that the tip is on the line and I can tuck all of my tags underneath there as I applique that down. So when I go to place this, I will measure from here to here and do the same thing over there and then place that as well. So I got this one placed. I haven't attached it yet, but I'm going to place this one, but I'm going to get it, my little ruler out and do the same thing. It's just, it doesn't have to be exact, but it's got to be close so then it looks like it's exact. That way it looks like it was planned and stuff. So I will measure this and get this place and then I'll get these all appliqued down. I've got my footballs all attached. I'm not too happy about this, but it's close enough and it won't matter in the long run. And I've got these attached as well. These are all done and the staples and the basting have been taken out. The papers get removed when I put this in put these all in place and then I take the back papers out and then I go in and I snip the background and I pull that paper right out of there. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach this to that piece. So I've connected both pieces of my triangle and now my LS8 triangle is complete.